name is Nathan Butterfield, and this video is brought to you by the Florida State University College of Information. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to remove and then reinstall a power supply unit. Let's take a look at the materials that are required for this installation. For this installation, we will need the computer, a screwdriver, and the power supply. First things first, we must work in a safe and static-free environment. Power down the computer, and then remove the power cord from the back of the machine. Next, ensure there are no plastic bags or paper in your work area. And finally, ground yourself by touching any of the unpainted metal surfaces on the computer's frame. So now that we have a safe working environment, let's remove this side panel. First of all, unlock the screws using a screwdriver. Next, now that they're loose, take them off with your fingers. After that, push down on the latch to unlock the side panel. Pull it backwards, pull it off, and lay it on its side. Next, take the computer and lay it on its side so we can gain access to the components. Now let's take a look at the power supply unit, or PSU. This is the main device called the PSU. There are multiple connectors that the PSU has. First of all, we have a 12 volt Molex power connector for drives, disk drives, and hard drives. Next, this smaller connector is a floppy drive power connector. This is a SATA drive connector. And finally, this larger connector provides power to the motherboard, the processor, and the memory. We are now going to remove the power supply unit, but we must first remove the heat sink because it blocks the removal of the power supply. First of all, take the screw driver and loosen the four screws that surround the heat sink. Then, Carefully pull the heat sink free from the motherboard. After that, disconnect the power connector. The next step in disconnecting the PSU is to remove all the connectors. The power connectors for the motherboard, the SATA connectors for the drives, and ensure they are free from all other cables for easy removal. The next step in removing the power supply is to undo the screws that hold the power supply in place. They're located here, 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 and here. The final step in removing the power supply is to push it towards the inside of the computer to free it and then to carefully remove it. Let's now install our new power supply. Take the power supply unit, carefully place it in the machine, line it up with the detents, and then press it into place. It may take a little bit of finesse to get it installed. After that, take the four screws and install them. One, two, three, and four. Now that we have the power supply securely in place, let's reconnect the power cables. We'll start with the SATA power connectors on the drives. The hard drive, and also the CD DVD drive. Next, we'll reinsert the motherboard power connectors. Now that the power supply connectors are back in place, let's replace the heat sink. Take the heat sink and line up the four screws on the heat sink with the four screws on the motherboard. 
carefully slide it into place. Next, take your screwdriver and screw in securely the heat sink to the motherboard. Once you're sure that it's stably in place, take the heat sink connector and reinsert it. Now, let's replace the side panel. Line the side panel up with the computer. Once it's in place, slide it forward to lock it in. Next, take the screws and replace them in their original positions. Finally, take the screwdriver and lock them tightly into place. Once again, my name is Nathan Butterfield, and I would like to thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and informative.